morning. As you can tell. Well, actually, you probably won't even be able to see it. We're sitting at a Walmart, just right around the corner from uh, where we delivered. There was one that was like 20 some odd miles down the road. But as I was driving by this one, I saw that there were trucks parked in the parking lot. So uh, I decided I would join them. Because when I pulled it up on the navigation, it said that, uh, that there was no overnight parking. Now there are signs, you know, there are signs that say no overnight parking. But we rebel truckers just say, fuck it. Well, here's what I bought, guys. Got me a new Green Bay Packers t-shirt right there. It's black. I like it. Got some flip-flops right there for my oldest boy, my youngest boy, my daughter. And then got me the little Green Bay Packers gnome. Spent 70 some odd dollars. They had the cheese heads there, but the wife decided, nah, she didn't want them. <coughs> well, I figured she was going to want them, but I guess not. So, uh... It's a nice day outside though. Let's get some fresh air. I need to roll that window down actually. But uh, we're just wasting some time right now because I don't think we're gonna be able to pick up this load early. We're supposed to pick it up at like one o'clock, but uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it early. So figure well. We'll just lounge around over here at Walmart, spend some time, check some things out. There's also Sam's Club here. Unfortunately, there's no McDonald's around. Now. That sucks. That's what sucks even more is that there's no McDonald's. But hey, what can you do? Tires got some flat spots in it. Something was dragging some tires. That actually needs to be replaced. That is right there where it makes it slick. And at that point, that is a DOT violation. <coughs> so, let me get that fixed. But, the only thing, yeah, there's a, there's a truck stop we can hit on the way back down. That's right. There's a TA right there at the, at the uh, border that uh Papa Joe was talking about meeting me at but look at this shit it just flakes off I guess my primer didn't didn't sit so well I mean that's just with me rubbing on it I mean hell I had some good primer the other side's not doing it so what I'm thinking is I'm thinking when I get fuel over here it's leaking off and spraying back I would say my chains but my chains won't even hit it. So I don't know. That's weird. I'll have to coat it real good with primer again when I redo it. Make sure it's got some extra primer. But uh Gotta get this down. I need a you know what I need? I need for my bumper right here. This part here that's busted. I think I need to get me one of those out stickers. <laughs> And put the out sticker on it. I think that'd be pretty good. I had my door open back up. I don't remember opening up my door. But yeah, check the oil, do all that good stuff while we're just sitting here, wasting time. Waste time doing an inspection. That's always good, right? That's all I did. Damn, I wish they would have cleaned that motor though. Shit. But I've noticed a, a, a lot better of a ride now with those new shocks on there. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I finally put on the back shocks. Forgot to replace the airbag. I didn't buy an airbag yet. Still gotta do that. I'm just glad I didn't hit any major uh, inspection stations that were actually inspecting. Look at this. They washed the frame there when they were washing the truck. But yet, missed everything else. Makes that part look like shit. It's time to add some more water. Why, antifreeze? 
can't do that. But um, have to check the oil, do all that kind of good stuff. But uh, anyways, guys, we're gonna stay here for a little bit. We'll start rolling here in probably about an hour, about two hours, give or take. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the truck. Some see they got this tank pretty nice and shiny. Got them most of it down there and I got the frame I don't know what they spray on the frames but shit makes the shit look like brand new almost in certain spots where they actually hit it that's pretty cool I like that but uh well stay with us guys we will be hitting the road here shortly all right so we're headed to our uh, shipper Talked to dispatch this morning. Found out that yeah, we can go ahead and roll over there early. So we're gonna be a couple hours early. It's 11 o'clock right now. We're about a half an hour away. So it'll be a little bit early, not too bad. So hopefully they'll go ahead and load us, like they told him. But um, well, I was sitting there watching. I was watching up my uh, my last video that I just posted last night or this morning. And Mark, I'm really sorry. I didn't realize that I edited right through your your. Uh, your question. So here we go. What uh, what uh, uh, truck stop is preferred by me? Well, the answer for that would be it all depends. Uh, for food wise, restaurant wise, I'd say you know TA and Petros, preferably more the TA than the Petro. Uh, just because they, they have more selection than I like. Uh, shower wise, I'd say Flying J Pilots. They're nicer, they're bigger, they're cleaner. I've never really, not that I can remember, I've never really used a TA or a Petro shower. I probably did when I first started driving, but I don't really remember them because I haven't been to one in a long time. Uh, but over those, you know, I prefer the, the Pilot and Flying J's. Loves, mainly because Loves, they don't usually have a lot of water pressure. And, you know, they have that they have that body soap wash for you, but it comes out in a foam. How many times do you have to keep pressing that foam button just to foam up, you know, one arm? <laughs> you know what I mean? It gets pretty bad. At least Pilot and Flying J's in that, they started using regular wash and it comes out, well, depending, Pilot and Flying J's too. They, uh, some of them come out as a foam, some of them come out as the actual liquid. But, I mean, I usually bring my own body wash with me anyways. So, I mean, I never have to really worry about that. 90% of the time I shower at Love's because I'm always feeling at Love's. Uh, but that's because, you know, fuel prices are, you know, it's usually a, a penny cheaper a gallon. And also, uh, with, you know, Love's points, you know, you, after you buy so many gallons, you get, you know, double, triple, and quadruple your points per gallon. So obviously, usually I'm in the diamond, sta or usually I'm in the, the platinum status, which is three points. There's times that I do get into the diamond status, which is nice, you know, that's, that equals almost like $60, $70 in points every month if you stay diamond status. Plus, you know, what? by being platinum, I get unlimited showers, so I can take a shower, you know, five different times in one day for a whole month straight if I wanted to, and I'd never run out of showers. Uh, plus the unlimited drink refills. Take in any kind of cup you want, and any drink, fountain drink, you know, sodas, water, coffee, you know, all that kind of stuff, it's a free refill. So, I mean, it's, it's good to have that, and, and that's why I prefer Loves. Now, don't get me wrong, if Pilot Flying J started the, uh, the point program that Loves has, I would be instantly switching over to Pilot. I do prefer their, their stuff better. But, you know, I sacrifice for the Loves because, I mean, Loves ain't bad. I'm not a big fan of Loves coffee. Co uh, Pilot's coffee, though, they advertise it's, it's, it's the best coffee on the interstate. And I gotta agree with them. 
other than, you know, like Starbucks and shit like that. But it's kind of hard to get a big truck into a Starbucks. So you settle for the next best thing, which would be, you know, your pilot and flying haze. And that's mainly because, you know, I like the creamers. I like the different flavor creamers. Loves, TAs, all that. They only have hazelnut. I'm not a big fan of hazelnut. Unless it's in an iced coffee form. But, you know, that's what that is. So just to let you know there, Mark. Sorry about uh, cutting it off yesterday. I, I, I must have been dozing off when I was editing it up and covering it up. Definitely wasn't on purpose. So sorry about that. I mean, it had to make you wait an extra day. But uh, I remember posting on there about Spike. Just a quick little update. So far, he is doing better. So yay for that. Uh, my wife said he was out running around, playing a little bit more. So we're hoping that the uh, the bread is actually working. It's, it's, you know, absorbing the poisons or whatever. Or it's getting, you know, it's maybe the, the forcing them to drink water. You know, we gave them, uh, my wife gave the neighbors a, one of my son's uh, old bottles. So that way they can help force feed them the water. So last report I got, he's doing better, so that's good. I'll find out tonight once I get home. And, you know, definitely send my apologies to my neighbors personally. And uh, hopefully go for the best. You know, hopefully, hopefully he'll be doing better. I'll probably also be, if he's doing better in, in, a, in a good way, you know, a lot better, I'll probably bring him back on the truck with me to help finish up his training and then uh, go from there. But we'll have to wait and see how he's responding, you know, once we get home. But uh, so far, last report was that he's doing better, so that's good. But uh, with that being said, I'm gonna kind of keep this video short. Mark, I did run through your video real quick. Obviously, the video that I had yesterday was more in dip, but then I kind of lagged a little bit because I was sitting there thinking about it, you know, as I'm trying to explain stuff. But, uh, uh, thank you, buddy. Nice four-wheeler, let me over. Because people like these fucking trucks here don't know how to get out of the way. They have trucks behind them, they have cars behind them and they don't know how to get out of the middle lane. And this is a day cab, most likely. Yep, it's a day cab. They don't fucking care. Wake the fuck up. Another one, containers. They don't fucking care, it's all about them. Always, no matter where you're at, it's always day cabs and containers that it seems like fucking up the middle lane. Every now and then, Swift and Warner and Snyder get in there, too. <laughs> a lot, obviously, a lot of the time, I don't have to worry about it because I'm not driving fast enough to care. But when I'm driving fast, it pisses me off. I have common courtesy. I, I move over if I'm not passing anybody. It's just respect, you know? Oh, and, and it's a day cab fucking container. That's a double fault right there. But anyways, all right, guys, we're going to let you go. He's a young buck. He don't know no better. He's got his earpieces in, listening to fucking music and shit, no radio. So you can't even tell him on the radio that, that hey, dumbass, get out of the fucking way. But uh, if you guys happen to watch my videos and that was you, I'm sorry to call you out like that, but fuck, get out of the fucking way. Plain and simple. Be courteous to your other drivers and other people out on the road. Plain and simple. But with that being said, guys, we're going to keep rolling down here for a little bit. We've got 24 more miles. It's supposed to be a, a fairly light load that we're picking up. So uh, picking up at a place, and we're going to deliver it to Starbucks. There's my Green Bay Bug. The Volkswagen Bug with a with a, uh, a roll cage bumper grill set up on it. It looks like a face mask for a, for a helmet. It's pretty cool. I like it. I, I like seeing that every time I came through here, especially when I was with the other company. I'd run through here a lot and see that. But uh, anyways, guys, stay tuned. All right, so we are just getting ready to cross the border into Illinois. 
And here we are. Everybody say, say, and uh, say, uh, how can I say it? Say hi and wave to Papa Joe. I've always liked this museum over here, Papa Joe. Let me know if you've ever been to it. We'll check out all the old military equipment right there. Right there at exit one by the TA. Let me know if, if you've been there and they sell anything. Let me know. I've always wanted to get me one of those old H1 Hummers. Military wise, you know. Shut up. I know where I'm going. <laughs> but, uh, said there was something I was going to talk to you guys about, and I forgot what the hell it was now. But I was kind of debating if this time I even got on the radio and announced it on the CV just to see if anybody would come back to me, but nobody came back to it. I was sitting there saying that, you know what, I'm thinking about today might be the day that I slow my ass down and be the one asshole that goes around Chicago in the left lane at 55 miles an hour and won't get out of it for nothing. Kind of thought about it. Will I do it? Probably not. But the thought crossed my mind. And of course, nobody came back to me over the radio on it, about it. I used to run through here like 65 miles an hour. But uh, I'm gonna run through here at probably about 60, 62 today. Help save some of this, this weight on this load. I thought it was gonna be a light load. But we got 42,000 pounds on me. I mean, it's not super heavy, don't get me wrong. But it's close, you know. It's only a couple thousand pounds off of a, of a max load. But, uh, you know, this pickup truck that's been behind me for a while, I'll go ahead and move out of his way. But, uh, fuck. What to talk about? You guys gotta give me some more suggestions down there in the boxes. Give shit to talk about when we just sit here and cruise down the road. I was sitting here listening to music a little bit ago. Pulled up the most popular music videos on YouTube, hit play and minimize the screen on my phone and let it just roll. That's usually what I do. Either that, every now and then I'll kick on Pandora. I mean, I got my satellite radio. <coughs> I like how I can skip songs if I don't want to hear it. And since I've been listening to a lot more Pandora and, and like music through uh, YouTube and that, since you can just hit play and it just constantly goes music to music to music for, you know, hours. Granted, you can hit skip if you need to. But I've been kind of contemplating if I want to just cancel my, uh, my XM radio. Because hell, that's 20 bucks a month, you know. But the only good thing about it is coming, you know, it's getting ready to start coming up that it's gonna be football season again. And I listen to the green and I listen to the Packers play when I whenever I can't watch the game. Plus of course I always, you know, I listen to some other games. I don't listen to them all, but I do listen to some. I mainly listen to, you know, when the when the Packers are playing. Which of course when I was up there at the Walmart last night. Went into the into the the sports shop thing that they have there, and uh, they had it roped off because they were waxing the floors. So I told the wife, I was like, All right, well, I'll go over there in the morning, you know, see what they got. So woke up, went ahead, you know, go inside to go to the bathroom and all that good stuff. And uh, oh shit, I gotta move over. I thought I was fine in that lane. Uh, What's it called? Uh, so I went inside, looked at all the different stuff they had. I was looking for another big Green Bay sticker like what I got on the side of my truck. Might have to just go go to the mall down there by my house and pick it up and grab another one. So that way I can have one on the passenger side. But uh, ended up buying uh, $70 almost worth of shit. All Green Bay stuff, of course. And uh, of course, this guy's not gonna not gonna be respectful to move over. They never are. That's why I was saying I've thought about just moving over there. 
cruising 55 miles an hour because they won't move. If I, if I sat over there and I cruised 55 miles an hour, they would just pile up behind me. You might get one or two that would pass you, but 90% of them, you get in your own damn lane, asshole. Uh, 90% of them would just sit there and, and pile up behind me and not fucking move. And there's no point in it. You know, there's no traffic coming onto the freeway. You got certain areas where traffic comes on. Move into the right lane. Especially when you got people behind you, you know? But anyways, that's a whole nother rant there. I mean, that's just, that's just one of those things that can piss you off while you drive, you know? People that don't get out of the way when you're in a, not, I won't even say rush, but when you're doing more of the flow of the four wheelers, you know, the flow of traffic, and these guys are sitting there holding up the lane. Granted, speed limit is 55 for everybody. You will get your ass ran over damn near if you cruise 55 around Chicago. Except for when there's traffic, you know, rush hour time. But when there ain't no traffic on the road, like right now, I'm doing 67 miles an hour and look at these four wheelers just steadily passing me. They're running 80 and speed limit is 55. Do the cops care? Fuck no. They'll sit there and just watch them. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's crazy. It's kind of, it reminds me of California. You know, speed limit is 65 out there for four-wheelers, 55 for trucks. Now, you get a truck that's doing 65 miles an hour, fuck, your, your ass is grassed. They will pull your ass over in a heartbeat. Most out there they allow is like 62 in a big truck or commercial vehicle. Or hell, any anything towing a trailer, really. But uh, you get out there in the four-wheeler, shit, you can sit there and run 75. And you'll get passed by a fucking cop running 80. <laughs> you know, it's, it's pretty bad. Sometimes it makes me wonder, you know, why they even have speed limits. Honestly, I, I in, in my honest opinion, when they raise the speed limits, what does that make people do? They go faster. Because it's something about breaking the law that gets your adrenaline pumping. Makes it exciting, I guess. Is that why everybody speeds? Tell me why you guys speed. Everybody speeds, I know they do. Everybody does. There might be one person that says, oh, I never speed. And there are a couple, I do know one person, he will never speed. Whatever that speed limit sign it says, that's what he's doing. No matter if it's, you know, construction zone, middle of nowhere, if he's in a rush, he still sets his cruise to the speed limit. Maybe he's got enough tickets that, you know, he learned his lesson or something, I don't know. But, uh, everybody speeds. What's the point in speeding, people? Especially if you're in a four-wheeler. You're not going far enough to make a decent amount of difference. Not like me. I'm running 600 miles today. 614 or 618, some shit like that, is what it was. By me speeding by five miles an hour over, the whole entire way, that will save me about an hour's worth of time. I'll get home an hour sooner than what I would have normally. That's it, just an hour, and that's 10 hours of driving. So I mean, if you think about it, if you're in your four wheel and you're only going, you know, 10, 15 miles to the fucking store, or you're only going, you know, say even 20, 30 miles to go home. You're not really saving that much time. If you don't believe me, time yourself one day. Do the speed limit. All, all your cell phones have a stopwatch on it. <coughs> From the minute you start driving, set your clock, start it. For one day, do the speed limit for that one trip of where you're going and see what the time is when you finally arrive. Then, do your normal speed that you do, you know, five over, 10 over, whatever you do. And stop the clock, obviously, when you get to your destination. And see what the difference is. 
You'll be amazed that it's probably only going to be maybe five minutes most. For a short distance run like that. You might say five minutes. So what does that do? Nothing. You save five minutes off your time. Not much, not much you can do really in five minutes. Well, there's stuff, but you know. We'll keep our minds out of the gutter for that one. But anyways. Try it. Find out what happens. And post it down in the comments. For those of you guys that's not truck drivers, or even if you are a truck driver, and you're out on home time, and you're going to run to the store, you know, especially if you're the type that normally speeds by like 5 or 10 over, you know, time yourself and put your, put your times down there in the, in, the box, in the comment box down below. Just so other people can see, and of course write down how many miles you roughly drive. You know, if it's 5 miles, 20 miles, 60 miles, whatever. And then show the time difference. Just so that way everybody can see. There's no real point in it. If you're in a car, there's no real point in it. Like these cars here run in 80. <coughs> Most of them's going, getting off work, going to work. But if they would have left the house 5 minutes earlier, they wouldn't have to rush. Wouldn't have to chance on getting a ticket. Wouldn't have to, you know, chance on getting an accident or anything like that. You know, it, it's 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 crazy. It's like hell. I just saw the I saw a YouTube video yesterday. <coughs> Apparently, it's fairly old. I just now saw it for the first time. Pretty bad how things happen like that. About uh, what was it? I think it was. It was a state trooper, an Ohio state trooper, I think. No, no, it wasn't Ohio. I want to say it was Texas. I think it was Texas. An Ohio, I mean, a, a Texas state trooper pulled over a fellow officer, or maybe it was Louisiana. I don't know. You guys will probably know because you've probably seen it. But anyways, this female officer pulls over a, a, a local cop we're flying by her, cruising down the freeway, flies by her, she picks up the pace, gets behind him, blows on the lights and sirens and follows him, changing lanes to lanes to lanes, and it, you know, like she's quoted on there, or like the video said, in excess of 120 miles an hour. <clears throat> and that fucking officer's explanation was because he was going to some school event, some private school, that there were some very important people on there. Well, fuck, if you're already late, you're already late. Big deal. 120 miles an hour for a 10-mile stretch or 15-mile stretch compared to, you know, 65 or 70. Granted, it's, it's, it's a couple minutes faster. You might save 10, 15 minutes. <coughs> but just think, at 120 miles an hour, look at how many people's lives you're throwing in risk. You're doing 120 miles an hour, you blow a fucking tire. You, you just lost control. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. If you didn't, I'd be really surprised. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's bad like that. I give that officer credit for pulling his ass over. Handcuffing him and everything. You know, I thought it was pretty good. And, uh, and then, <laughs> which brings up that topic of that one dumbass in Texas. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the video on that already. This dumbass in Texas gets pulled over by an officer. The officer is, is asking him repeatedly, license and registration, I pulled you over for speeding. License and registration. And this dumb fuck in the car is just sitting there going, you have no right to pull me over. In the state of Texas, if you're speeding, it's not illegal. It's a law that you just broke. It's illegal. No matter how you look at it, it's illegal. No matter what fucking DA says whatever, it is a law for a reason. Then, when the officer is asking you for that shit, and you don't do it, you know, hell. I, I kept watching that video and watching that video and watching that video. 
just waiting for that officer just to bust out that window and drag his ass out of the fucking car. I'm surprised it took the officer that long. He probably repeated himself, you know, license and registration. Sir, I need your license and registration. <coughs> probably close to 50 times. Well, this guy just makes the video. Granted, he's doing it for YouTube views and all that kind of shit. You know. But, that's, that's stupid. So now he's got a, a car that's got a busted window. He's going to get one hell of a ticket. One for one for the original speeding, obviously. And then, one, I think the officer said something about... Uh, uh, a ticket for failure to identify or some shit like that. <clears throat> What's the point? I mean, really. So what? You got caught, but you got caught speeding. I think he said he was only doing like five over. That ticket ain't gonna be that expensive. Yeah, you, know, you might spend 150 bucks. You know, it's. But now you're gonna spend several hundred because now you're gonna have to go to court. Not to mention you have to replace the window. You know, it's just, it's bad. It, it really is. I don't understand it. <coughs> it's just like these dumbasses, they go to the fucking border. The, you know, the border inspections in California, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, you know, those, those border inspections. When you cross there, all they do is ask you if you're a United States citizen. You say yes, and you're on your way. Well, these brilliant sons of bitches like to say stupid shit. I don't have to answer that. Fuck, I forgot what else they fucking come up with. Just stupid ass responses. And hell, one of them, I believe he was a Swift driver. Get the fuck out of my lane, Bison. Lane control, people. Lane control. It's not that hard. He's too busy looking at his wrist. Maybe he's got a smartwatch. And he's looking at his text messages on his smartwatch. Let me know if that's actually worth it, guys. If any of you guys have that Samsung gear, that smartwatch, I've actually considered buying it. Let me know if it's actually honestly worth the money if you already have it. If you don't have it, don't throw your two cents in there. You know, I, I actually want to hear from somebody that's actually got it. So if you physically have that, that Samsung gear smartwatch, is it really worth the $300 for the watch? Now, me, I don't. I, I have watches. I hardly ever wear them. But for that reason, for viewing text messages, emails, you know, making phone calls, I think it'd be pretty cool. But I think that's all it is. It's just a cool item. I don't know if it's truly worth the money or not. If you have it, let me know. Leave a comment in the box. P, uh, shoot me a message on the Facebook page. Uh, you know, whatever. Which, for those of you guys that have not liked it yet, go to uh, Facebook, search out Trucker John in the search bar. You should be able to find my page that way. Uh, if not, uh, I haven't made it a steady post yet. I know in yesterday's video, I posted the link in the description box. I'm going to try to start doing that more often. Uh, that way it gives you guys information on links and stuff like that. I do check that page, guys. So, you know, you guys are more than welcome to post things. If you want to talk about a topic, post it in there if you want. Leave it in the comment box, you know. Uh, you want to just say, hey, what's up? Or, hey, you just passed by my town or whatever. Feel free to say hi. So that way I know when I'm in that area, I know who's who lives there. Just like I found Papa Joe lives right there along the border somewhere. Exactly where? I don't know. Don't really care to find out. I don't want to know exactly where you guys live. You know, it's 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 privacy. But if you say, hey, I live in Chicago, you know, or hey, I live in fucking, uh, what's another place? Say Chattanooga. When I'm rolling through that area, hell, I might give you a shout out on, on YouTube. Make you a, a, a YouTube sensation for five seconds. <laughs> you never know. Hell, if I, especially if I'm down for, for a day or so. For, for those of you that's not truck drivers, you know, but if you like watching my videos and that, you know, if, I, if, if I'm going to be in your area shut down for a couple hours, hey, 
you know, I'll shoot you a message. Hey, I'm going to be in town. If you want to grab lunch, hey, you know, let's grab some lunch. Grab some, get a soda, get some coffee, you know, whatever. He'll just come out and say, hey, what's up? It's me, you know. Just shoot the shit for a little bit. You know, it's, it's, you're more than welcome. I'm a nice guy. I'm not harmful. Unless you touch my daughter or my boys. Then I can get harmful. <laughs> But uh, anyways, guys, we've been rolling here for a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and let this this one slide. And uh, we're going to keep on rolling. We're currently 435, uh, sorry, 439 miles from the house. Well, that's going a different way that I'm not going to be going. This, this route wants me to take 57 all the way down, and I'm not going to do that. Granted, the speed limit is 70 all the way down, but there's reasons for it good reasons for it hell fuck it I'll, I'll just announce it I got a I got a warrant out here in Julia which is right here by the Chicago fucking car just cut off that fucking uh, uh, armored truck stupid ass but anyways uh, I got a warrant out here that's apparently it's 10 years old I never knew I had a warrant never knew I had to go to court but I got busted back in 2004 for doing some really stupid shit. And I thought I had it all taken care of. But obviously not because when I got pulled over down there just south of uh, when I was coming up 55 or 57, one of them. I got pulled over for not having a mud flap on my truck or I mean on my trailer. And the officer was kind enough to, to let me go but, but let me know that I had that warrant. So I was like, okay, well, now I know that whenever I'm in this area, I need to mind my P's and Q's. Granted, I'm still speeding, but, you know, I need to mind my P's and Q's and, uh, until I can get this all taken care of. So, I, of course, I've, I've been hesitant in, on looking. I, I've called the court to find out if I could just, you know, resolve it by paying a fine or anything like that. And they said, no, you have to come to court. You must show up to court. Well, my living situation, I can't afford to take off, you know, an extra day of work to go to court, I mean, I could, but if they decide to arrest me and lock me up, I can't afford that downtime as being on the only income. So I found out that I could, I could get a lawyer to go to the court for me, fight it, figure out what's gonna happen, you know, try to plead it down to where I just have to pay a fine or whatever, you know, do something, you know, whatever, whatever it may take as long as I don't have to serve jail time because I can't afford it. My wife and kids would go homeless if I'm off on the road too long. <coughs> so, I mean, you know, we got to take care of that. But you don't get there, you know. I, I'm, I'm slowly looking up attorneys to, to go ahead and go to court for me. The only bad thing is, is, is that's going to cost me an arm and a leg. I already know it. To have an attorney go to court for you. But when you don't live anywhere near the area, you know, I, I don't want to drive my personal car all the way up here. I don't want to have to park, find a parking spot to park the truck. Granted, we have a, we have a yard around here, but then I have to take a cab, you know, to the courthouse and then back from the courthouse and, that, and that'd be pricey. Plus then I might, I still have that chance of getting locked up. So definitely don't want that to happen. But, uh, so I gotta find me an attorney that'll go to court for me and, straighten it all up and find out what happens. Hopefully they can just plead it down and say, hey, you know, it's been it's been so long, you know, he didn't even know about it, yada, yada, yada. You know, let's just work out a fine that I can pay, you know, and call it a day. We'll find out how it is. Don't bother asking me what it's for, I'm not gonna tell you. Just, just keep in mind I did something incredibly stupid that I shouldn't have been doing. That's all it was. It wasn't a driving thing, it just, it, it was just something stupid. Wasn't involving alcohol, wasn't involving drugs, so nothing like that. It was just literally just a stupid thing to do. But anyways, guys, we're gonna let this one slide right now. And we're gonna keep on rolling. Stay tuned. All right, so we're done for the night. It was a long day. Got a, got a little fucked up with Chicago traffic. Ran out of time about 10 minutes away from home. 
So of course I just violated my logs and just came home. Plus it's technically the next safest place to park. <laughs> Minus one exit. I could have technically by law I should have stopped at the next exit up, but you know, hey, it's the next parking area from where I ran out of time. So it works out. Um, I don't think I talked really too much today, but uh, I'll find out here once I edit. Papa Joe, I'll, ask, I'll answer your question tomorrow about why I chose my Peterbilt. And then, uh, um, shit, I can't remember your name right offhand. Uh, you told me about using uh, um, advanced charcoal. I'll definitely have to keep that in mind. Uh, from last time I've talked to the wife, Spike is doing a lot better. He's his normal self. He just wasn't eating his dog food. But that just could be he's not hungry. So we'll see how that goes. Find out here in a couple minutes when I get home finally. But um, I think that's it for the day, guys. So uh, tomorrow we'll go down. We'll, d we'll finish delivering this load to uh, Lebanon. Then we got another load from Portland, Tennessee to um, shit. Portland, Tennessee to, I want to say Arkansas, but I'm not sure. I'll update you that on that tomorrow, guys. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay safe out there. Don't forget to like and share this video. For those of you that's new to my channel, if you like what you see, subscribe. There's daily vlogs on the daily. Sometimes you get a two for one special when I fuck up and forget <laughs> or I'm too tired. But uh, the only time you won't get vlogs, obviously, is when I'm home on home time. This doesn't really count as home time. I'm just taking a 10-hour break here at home. So uh, I'll be back in the morning to do another vlog for the day. And there's a bunch of dumbasses over here at the pilot today. What the fuck are they doing? Stupid fucks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So that being said, guys, stay safe out there. Thanks for tuning in today. And we will see you in the morning.